Hi, this is Melissa from Mrs. Stoffer's Music Room, and I'm going to show you how to stop auto advance in Google Slides. So if you have not dealt with the auto advance issue yet, I'm going to show you really quickly when you are in present, or if your kids are viewing this as a web page, uh, if you accidentally click somewhere where there is not a link, and you can see I don't have a lot of links in here right now, um, if you accidentally click there, it takes you to the next slide, which if you're trying to build multiple rooms in the same presentation, um, this is really annoying because you don't want your kids to get there too soon. So we're gonna exit out of here. And let me show you how to fix this. So we're gonna pop back to this slide and I'm going to zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. And as I said before, I did not build a lot of links in here. In fact, most of the things in here are not linked at the moment. I have uh, a couple ish, um, books and links over here, but for the most part, I left everything blank just so you can see how to do this. So I am going to grab a shape. I'm just gonna free draw a quick little rectangle. And it doesn't really matter what size it is or anything for the moment, although I'm gonna move it up a little so we can see the link box better. And before anything, you wanna link it in case, um, so you don't forget. And hit the link button, and you're gonna actually select the slide of the presentation that you're on. So I'm on page two, so I'm gonna click slides in this presentation and scroll down until I see slide two and click that and hit apply. Once you have that in place, I'm going to drag this and make sure I cover my whole room and I'm actually covering everything. I want it to really hang off and I'm okay with that because it'll make it easier to find later if you need to make edits. So I'm gonna take my border and make it nice and dark and pretty thick because I wanna be able to find this and not have to hunt for it when I'm fixing my room. And you won't see this in the presentation, so that's okay. So I'm gonna take this and send it all the way to the back by going to Arrange and Order, Send to Back. So now I have all of these items that are in my room in front of it. Now, this doesn't really help us because if a kid accidentally clicks on any of these things that I don't have a link to, it'll just auto advance to the next slide. So I'm going to take, oh, sorry. I'm going to take my shift key and hold that down and select everything I do not have linked yet. And that includes my whiteboard, these things here, the rug, all of these things that I did not link and select them. And you want to do this as one thing because if you try to do these as individual items, they might end up out of order and then like your head's behind the whiteboard and the piano is like behind the rug, but the metronome's behind the piano just hanging in midair and it would look really weird. And it will be harder to find. So that's the other key there is that it will make it much more difficult after. So once I have all of those items selected, you're going to go back up to Arrange, hit Order, and Send to Back. So those are the only three things that I have linked in my room right now, and that's okay. So click out of there, click your shape one more time, and this time you're going to go up to Fill Color and hit Transparent. And now you can see everything that is there, but when I go into Present, if I accidentally click on that whiteboard, it's... It, it does nothing. It just leaves me right where I want to be until I click on something that actually has a link where I'd like my students to go. So that is how you fix the issue of auto advance in Google Slides. And I hope this was helpful for you. And subscribe to my channel if this is something you are interested in learning more about. And I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching.